I've just released the first project this year. I got paying customers and I'm gonna tell you how everything went in this developer logbook. <laughs> What's up, Monix, and welcome back to the sixth edition of the Developer Logbook. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the SAS Ionic blocks that I just released, like yesterday when I record this. Um, I was on vacation in the beginning of June on Majorca, which was pretty amazing. I had a big strategy week and a lot of things might change in the upcoming time. So there's really a lot going on currently. I'm very focused. I work a lot on these things. I am actually enjoying a lot of these things. But I think for now, we should just dive directly into the winds of June 2022. Alexa. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Ionic blocks. This project was dead for like five times and then I finally found the strength to release it. And the release was, well, how do you measure a good release? Like, is it the number of sales you make or is it the expectations you have matching the sales? Like, until recording this video, I made about 25, 26 sales of this project, which is about two and a half K, which is a great amount of money, but I also spent exactly that amount on templates. So up until now, I've pretty much made no money with this launch but on the other hand like all the money that comes in now is actually revenue did i expect more sales definitely yes did i already do all the marketing possible definitely no so this was a pretty small launch i launched it to the 600 people on my list that said they were interested in the project and a bit on twitter and we had the live stream but I haven't promoted this to the rest of my list. I haven't really marketed um, heavily on other platforms. And also Ionic wants to support this and also mention it in an upcoming newsletter, which will most likely also bring in more people. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know this, Ionic Blocks is pretty much like Tailwind UI, uh, but for Ionic, for the Ionic ecosystem. So you can easily grab HTML and CSS for specific pages like login, settings, account, and then copy this into your project and you're gonna save very much time actually using those blocks. But also based on the numbers, it doesn't look like it's super interesting to a lot of people and I don't know exactly why because I actually would purchase this immediately. Because also I'm a habit user of Tailwind UI and this just saves so much time. So I don't know if it's the wrong positioning, the marketing, the price. I actually don't know at this point, but eventually I'm gonna figure this out. To conclude this, I'm just happy that I finally <laughs> released something this year. We started the developer lookbook to show my journey of building a SES and well, now six months later, it's the first. It's a very bad example, but I've been working on this behind the scenes, treating it mostly as a side project. So I'm actually happy that it went okay so far and I'm gonna keep you updated about the future progress. Besides that, we had an epic vacation in the beginning of June on Majorca. It's our favorite island. We've been there first time now with our daughter. The weather was amazing. We visited great cities and we just enjoy it so much there. So if you have the chance to visit it, go there. Also, of course, I took my laptop with me on vacation because I'm self-employed and I just need to have it with me in case of something breaks. But I actually did almost no work in that week and pretty much nobody noticed because the Wi-Fi on our Airbnb was really, really terrible. So I really didn't have the chance to do a lot, which felt good and it showed me that, well, I can sometimes just leave. And today also marks the end of my strategy week. So I've been working in my business for way too long over the last years and I never really took time to think about like where I want to go and I really took the time this week to make up some bigger plans. And I don't know if I already want to share them but it's going to be big. Like I really want to think very big because if I aim here and I end up here that's going to be a huge success anyway. So I'm going to call all of this like the Academy 2.0 and there's a lot of work and different steps involved. The first step is migrating my blog to a static page, more on that later. And the second step is of course increasing my audience uh, to even more people here on YouTube but overall on pretty much all the channels. And the final step is an advanced learning platform. So it's really a very long term plan pretty much I guess like we're looking at a time frame of one and a half, two, maybe even more years because all of this will take time. But I just wanted to share this. This is the outcome from my strategy week and it's just gonna be great for you. There will be more content for you, better content, more engaging content, different uh, kinds of content. I'm sure you will love it. And if you've been following me on Twitter or Instagram, you also might have noticed that I played around with Next.js, I played around with Swelt and Swelt Kid. I actually even used React Native recently, so there's a lot going on behind the scenes and the content will follow. 
So those were the wins. Also, the podcast I'm doing with Simon, the All The Code podcast, is doing great. We really enjoy the conversations and we've heard from many people now that they are following us and listening to all the episodes. I really think this podcast will take off in some time and um, uh, we already see increased numbers. So this is a pretty great sign for us as creators. And also the recent live stream with almost 80 people was amazing. Like if we can get to 100 and grow this, like the live streams have been really, really, I enjoy creating the live streams and I actually prepare some content for the live stream. So it's not like I'm sitting here and playing and doing something, whatever. Like I'm really preparing them. And I think in the future we will have even cooler things in the live stream. So Thursday time uh, is currently our time, which works best. Yeah, just looking forward to more live streams and more engagement from you in the future. All right, so that's everything that happened in June. I think it was a pretty amazing month, but for the upcoming time, I got quite big plans. And some of those plans won't be executed like until the end of next year or in one or two years. I don't know how, how long the time frame for some projects is, but I'm definitely gonna start now with the migration of my blog to a static site. This project will likely take me the next quarter, so I've planned this for the next three months uh, because there's a lot involved. It's not just a bit of UI and a few posts, like it's transforming everything I have in WordPress, all the markdown files, all those newsletter signups, all those little additional things that you need to think about for this kind of migration. Besides that, you will most likely see different types of content. So you will definitely see more React content on this channel simply because the React community is big and I wanna offer some cool things to the React community as well. This is not only Ionic React, but eventually this will be general React and probably using Capacitor. And maybe I'm also gonna show you something like Next.js or SwelteKit, just things that I currently try out that I enjoy creating and I think that would be interesting for you as an audience on this channel. One personal trick I'm gonna apply this next month is timeboxing. So I already tried timeboxing last week and I already tried it like weeks ago it can become quite stressful. So the idea is to have a fixed schedule for every day where you got like one hour of writing this content, 30 minutes answering emails and this and that, and pretty much planning your whole day with different slots. Now, this can feel like a lot to do, but actually it gives you a lot of freedom because you just know what you're gonna work on, you got a specific time for that, you're not just browsing Twitter for 30 minutes without actually doing anything. So time boxing can really help and I wanna apply this in the next month a lot more. And finally, one of the biggest goals for the next time is actually to grow this channel. I really want to get this 200k at some point and I think I have a strategy now how I'm gonna approach that and the first step is to have regular live streams or at least something yeah at least yeah uh, yeah so the plan is to have a Thursday live stream and if I can't live stream I'm gonna have a video so there will be like two pieces of content per week also the live stream will be available as a video, so it's really like having two videos per week from now on. Additionally, I will also do like one or two shorts per week, which uh, contain a little tip for some kind of programming related topic. And so far, I really enjoyed the streams and I hope you're gonna tune in uh, a Thursday, next Thursday, uh, 3 p.m. German time. I think this is GMT plus two. So I really hate time zones, just calculate when it is in your time. Anyway, it has been an amazing month. I'm very grateful for all the opportunities for you following me on this journey and I hope you enjoyed the developer logbook. If you got any questions, anything you want to see in this freestyle video, let me know in the comments and of course hit the subscribe button because really Simonix, we're on a journey to 100k. Get your friends on board, get everyone on board. We get to 100k. I'm sure we can do it. I will catch you next time. I hope you'll have an amazing July. You're gonna accomplish all your goals. I will hopefully do it. I'm really focused and we're gonna do it together. So until then, your Captain Ionic. <laughs>